Here we go. When you try to fly, it's all you hit a Hi everybody, this is Nick with me, myself, Android.com, and I'm here with another uh, home replacement application. This is called ADW, and um, like uh, other home replacement apps, it gives you a different home screen um, that you can, um, you know, use as your default. So this um, is free in the Android market. It's called ADW, and it gives you lots of different options. Um, let's go ahead and go to the settings menu, ADW settings and um, you can choose screen preferences here you can hide your status bar uh, wallpaper scrolling you can choose for it to, to stay a static wallpaper um, you can choose what default screen you you have one two three or four you know which one um, you can choose uh, how many uh, columns up and down and rows side to side there are for your home screen so you can make you know, instead of four by four, you can make it five by five, or you know, whatever you want. You can change the desktop scrolling speed, uh, which is kind of cool. Um, whole lot of customization. You can change the drawer settings. So right now, I have it as a horizontal drawer. So let me show you what that is. Let's go ahead and click on that. Uh, let me show you what that is. So instead of scrolling up and down like uh, you know most Android home screens are, uh, this. I have it set right now to scroll from, I clicked on that mistake, to scroll from uh, left to right like the uh, TouchWiz uh, phones do. If you have a Samsung Galaxy S, you already know that. Um, but so anyway, it's really customizable. You can change the look of it. You can change the way it reacts to you. You can change pretty much everything. Um, you can change, you know, when you do the pinch to zoom here, what, you know, what it looks like I have a set like this this way let's see what else here you can um, under settings you can uh, apply a theme so let's go ahead and do that if you press on the uh, get themes it'll take you to the Android market where you can download themes there's a bunch of them um, some are free some are paid uh, just depends on you know the quality and the developer which you know whichever they prefer to do um, but we already downloaded one here so select your theme we'll click on that uh, this is the one I downloaded Expresso UI it gives you a little preview which is kinda cool um, make sure you pick the right one because you could have you know 10 themes in there but this is the one we we got so I'm gonna apply theme we'll see what happens here All right, it applied to the theme. It changed the background wallpaper, so I don't really like that wallpaper. I'll probably change that later, but you get the idea. Uh, so it changed the dock bar. It changed the um, uh, the icons here. See how the icons are kind of glassed background. Um, so you know, this one doesn't really match the rest of the theme I have going on my phone, but I just wanted to show you just as a you know, a for instance, there's lots of different themes available in the market too. Um, another thing that's kind of cool about ADW is the swipe um, actions that you can you can do here. So if I swipe up, you just see. Oh, let me <laughs> let me get this in focus a little bit better. If you swipe up, the notification part bar disappears. If I swipe up again, it comes back. That's pretty cool. Um, if I swipe down anywhere on here, I have it set to bring the notification bar down. You don't have to actually be up here and drag it down. So that's pretty neat. Um, if you're on the dock here and you swipe up, you can have a list of shortcuts here. It is kind of, however, hard to get that to go away sometimes. That way, that time worked pretty good. Um, and you can change the... Um, in the settings, you can change the background. See how the background now isn't see-through as it was before. The background was see-through. You can change all that in the settings, um, so you can see your wallpaper when you're in the app drawer here. Um, but I just want to show you this. I think it's a little bit easier on um, ADW than it is on Launcher Pro to replace these icons. On Launcher Pro, you have to long press on the icon, and then a little menu comes up. It's not overly difficult either way, but 
on this um, you can just pick up the icon drag it and drop it right on there and it changes it automatically for you which I think is a little bit easier um, a little bit uh, you know quicker but you know neither way is too taxing so and you can put folders in there you can put only thing you can't put in there is uh, widgets so it's uh, pretty handy and I really do enjoy this this was my favorite uh, launcher home screen replacement um, whatever you want to call it but here lately I've really been feeling the um, let me get this up here launcher pro launcher pro has been doing pretty good for me but ADW uh, is definitely not a bad way to go either way you decide to go check it out um, they're both pretty solid I've never really had any force closes or any lag uh, for either one I think they're both really solid home screen replacements so be sure to check them out this is ADW and it's available in the market for free uh, and as always be sure to check out me myself for all your reviews and all your latest news let's check it out next time